evening, the protest movement, initially aimed at political leaders, is now touching every Canadian already worn down by two years of this pandemic. The economic impact is real. This is the blockade at the busiest border crossing in the country connecting Windsor to Detroit, completely shut down for part of the day and still no traffic tonight getting onto the Canadian side. And in Ottawa, a new revelation from police that about 100 children are living inside those trucks parked in front of Parliament. That's where we begin our coverage again tonight with CTV's senior political correspondent, Glenn McGregor. For the first time since this occupation began, Ottawa police admitted the number of children inside the rigs is hampering their response. Tonight, a family from Toronto toured the trucks and carried empty jerry cans marked Freedom. At a protest campsite, kids played in the snow not far from a stockpile of fuel containers. Ottawa police estimate 25% of the 418 trucks parked on the streets have children living inside. It's something that concerns us for the well-being of everyone within the area from the risk of uh, carbon monoxide and fumes. Police are working with the Children's Aid Society, which said they've received multiple calls about child welfare among the big rigs. But for many here railing against vaccination mandates, kids are the issue. Childhood vaccination could be called child sacrifice. To settle the standoff, protest organizers last night made a bizarre offer to form an accord with opposition parties. I'm willing to sit at a table with the Conservatives and the NDP and the Bloc as a coalition. I'll sit with the Governor General. But today, an organization backing the so-called Freedom Convoy withdrew a petition that some called an attempted coup, a demand unelected protesters be given control of government COVID policy. Canada Unity now says it does not reflect the spirit and intent of the movement. To those truck stop! As protesters call on the Prime Minister to meet with them, one of Justin Trudeau's own MPs accused him of making vaccination into a wedge issue. I've been uncomfortable with the politicization of the pandemic and of vaccination uh, during the last election campaign. Joel Lightbound questioned the need to prolong the COVID mandates protesters want scrapped. Given the rise of Omicron, there are, are a lot of countries reconsidering the value of these measures. Today, he quit as chair of the party's Quebec caucus, but for now remains a Liberal MP. The Prime Minister wouldn't comment directly. I can understand frustrations with mandates, but mandates are the way to avoid further restrictions or having to be restricted as people get vaccinated, as Canadians have gotten vaccinated. Protesters say they expect police to move in on their camps very soon, and they're calling on supporters from across the country to come to Ottawa to back them up, Lisa. Okay, still a lot of people out there. Glenn, we'll see what the next few days bring.